Okay, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. You join me exactly where we left off. It is pitch black. I'm going to bring the menu Stop. up just so you can see that we are actually here and everything is actually running. We are in the cabin. It is the middle of the night. I've literally slept for a couple of hours, which was mainly to save the game at the end of the last video, but also just to uh, bring our tiredness, our fatigue level up a little bit uh, so that we can do some cooking. Um, we are pretty hungry, though. So I'm just going to grab some cattails. I am running out of my... I'm running out of my emergency standby. Okay, so let's head outside then. Let's get let's see if we can find the... Can I find the door? Oh, you're going to make me light something, aren't you? I was pointing completely the wrong direction. There we are, that's the door. Right, okay, so let's get inside then. Ooh, weather's not looking great. Hopefully we can light a fire. If I light it, maybe there? That's a little bit more sheltered. Is he going to let me? Oh, it won't let me light it there. Oh, it won't let me light it there either. Too windy. Uh, that's kind of put the mockers on what we were planning to do. Um, that has kind of. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to amend my plan slightly. It's because I'm a little bit short of food. I knew I was going to struggle to get through the night, but I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and go with what I've got. So let's eat these uh, salty crackers. Well, it's actually less food, more water that I'm short of. So let's drink all of what we've got left. I'm also concerned because meat spoils very, very quickly now in the long dark. It used to last a bit longer when it was raw before it uh, spoiled, but now it, uh, it goes very, very quickly. Okay, let's sleep for six hours then. That'll fully get our fatigue back. And hopefully, we'll have a, a nice clear evening outside and we can go and carry on. 15 days, 10 hours. Uh, okay, let's have a let's have a look outside now. That's the door. Oh, that's the door. That's the door. Oh, no, that's the door we can hack down. That's the door. I'm trying not to waste my fire starting materials to find the door. There it is, there it is, there it is. Cool. Blundering about in the dark. Oh god, it's even worse. Ah, but at least it is coming from the uh, from the other direction now. So I might be able to light a fire here. Yes, there we go. Right, so... Uh, wood matches, I think. We'll use the... Oh, I actually have books, don't I? I have books. Let's use a book. So we can guarantee to get this thing. I'm just going to light the storm lantern and be done with it. Um, oops, no, we don't want to sleep. Let's get a book. So that's pretty much going to guarantee that we're going to get this thing lit. Which is what we want. Okay, let's turn the storm lantern out. We don't want that. Hide it away. And campfire again. Book. Card matches. Tinder plug. Go. So we're going to get a fire. So this one's mainly going to be... This video is mainly going to be housekeeping, I think. So basically what we've done in the last couple of videos is we've got and gathered things Come that on. are not too far away from this cabin. This cabin's by Unnamed Pond on Mystery Lake. Um, so we've kind of, we've gone to Unnamed Pond, we've looted Unnamed Pond, what's there. We've been round up to clear cut, we got ourselves a bit lost. Um, we still haven't made it as far as logging camp, but I'm not too worried if we don't do that from here. We can, we can come back and do that later. Let's add some fuel. I'm going to use uh, some of the fur and some of the cedar and give myself a decent fire. And I'm also then going to cook up some water. I'm going to do two litres first off because I'm a bit short of water. In fact, I might even do a bit more than that. Let's do another five litres. Let's, let's just do loads of water first because I am running out of it. Let's just do loads of water, and then we can stock our fire back up again. So if we just do 
all seven liters. We can only melt five liters at a time, but it looks like we can boil all of what we've got. There we go, so we've now got seven liters of water. Um, let's start cooking up the food. And then we'll just see what we need to add to the fire. It takes about 15 minutes for each piece. We haven't got massive amounts, so we might actually be alright. We might have enough. Okay, we're way into the daylight now. We started in the in the darkness, but we're way into daylight now. So we've had this fire going for such a long time. But we're okay out here with the... Uh, with our fire going, keep the predators away, keep us warm. Wind direction looks like it's changed though, so we just need to be a bit careful and blow it out. So one of the reasons why I don't like to build up massively long fires outdoors, because in case it gets blown out, then you've wasted all your firewood. My God, that's like sandpaper. It's fine, don't worry. Okay, this is the last piece, so we don't need to add any more to that fire. We've got plenty of water now. All is good! All is good! We have plenty of food, we have plenty of water. Um, it actually looks quite nice out here, but it's really, really windy, so... Okay, we'll leave that fire burning away. We're going to come back inside. I think we'll get some of the heat bonus from that fire through the wall. I don't know. No, we don't. But that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, so, plenty of food, plenty of water. Let's eat a piece of the wolf meat, which we know is going to give us that parasite risk. That's fine. We think we can eat three pieces of that without a problem. We're going to eat this little piece of venison. And then we'll eat another piece of wolf. So we have two pieces of wolf, which is... I think we can, I think I worked out we can risk three pieces at a time, and then we have to leave it. So there we are. We're now fully hydrated, we're fully fed. So we're looking pretty cool. Uh, food, let's ditch all of the smelly things into there. And I think we've probably got space to get rid of some of this water as well. We don't be carrying, oops, well some of it we can get rid of. So that container's now full. We're pretty full as well. We're carrying a lot of firewood, which I can now ditch. So let's drop some of this firewood over here. So we're kind of setting ourselves up a home away from home. Let's drop all of that. And let's drop some of that. We just need to have enough to be able to light a fire when we're out. And about. Okay, so we've got a little pile of firewood there. We've got things curing away. Lots of birch saplings and a maple sapling. And we've got some guts and we've got a couple of hides. Uh, and we've got lots and lots of stuff in there. So I'm just trying to think what's the best thing to do. I think I'm going to start relaying things back to Trapper's Cabin, you know. Um, so it's probably no time like the present to think about doing that. We're fully fed, we're fully watered. Um, so let's. Uh, we've got a reasonable carrying capacity now. We've ditched that. Uh, Thing. So let's try and get the various curing items back to um, Trapper's Cabin if we can. So let's pick up whatever we can pick up that doesn't tip us over our encumbered limit. Excellent. And... Okay, so let's make our way out there. So let's head back to Trapper's Cabin. We'll take all this stuff back. And that will also give us a good chance to stop, take and see... Uh, where we're at at Trapper's Cabin and what exactly we've got. So let's get out here. Temperature minus 9, so it's not too bad actually. Not brilliant, but it's not too bad, so let's get going. Now, I've got to do a little bit of navigation here so I don't get lost, which I'm really good at doing. Basically, we need to keep to the Keep to the right hand side and we will eventually find our way there. So over the hills, down towards the main pond. Keep an eye out for wolves. We're smelly, because we're carrying lots and lots of hides and things. And we're also pretty sure we did take a wolf out, or suspect we took a wolf out, so... There is a chance we will find a wolf lying in the snow somewhere. Not that one. Well, that's not a wolf anyway, but the, the one that we took out has actually gone. 
because we fully harvested it and all of the remnants have gone away. Let's get ourselves over here. The only slight downside is we do find it. We're not really going to be able to pick it up and take it, are we? We'll get our incumbent limit. Okay, so we're going to keep going this way. Oh, there's a deer over there. That's usually a good sign that there's nothing nasty about. Okay, I am keeping to the bare right principle. Just so I don't want to risk getting lost, but I'm pretty sure we're just going straight over this hill. And the other side is Trapper's Cabin. So it is actually a pretty straightforward run from uh, Trapper's Cabin up to uh, Unnamed Pond and back again. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Which is good. We want to take stock of where we are. Did I just hear a bark? I did hear a bark. I did hear a bark. And I don't know where it's coming from. Let's uh, brave Sir Rob in it. Over the hills and far away. Hopefully we won't encounter a wolf down here. Or worse. What are those things scattered in a nice neat line across the ground there? Are they just rocks? So they're in a rather neat line. Lots of deer around here, so they're a nice distraction should the wolf come after us, which I think it probably won't. I think we're far enough away from it. So we didn't bring that wolf down. It was still about. Perfect. That deer carcass is still over there, you know. I need to go and harvest that. Um, because that will give us another deer hide. Okay, so we're now back in the cabin. So what is what in the cabin? Um, right, so we have uh, a pelt and a hide and we have another one to add to it. So let's drop everything that we've got that's curing. So we've got... Guts, we have hide, we have another hide, and we have lots of saplings. Let's drop everything, and then we shall sort ourselves out. So there is deer hide, and saplings can go over here with the other saplings, and the wolf pelt can go there with the other wolf. We're making ourselves a little carpet here. Um, the guts I am sort of placing on shelves and wherever there's a space for it. Well, that's annoying. I'm trying to pick it up at a flat angle so I can actually... There we go. I'm literally placing it wherever there's a gap. Where it'll let me put it. There we go. So that gets all that out of the way. Oh, we've got some cured guts. Let's place the rest on shelves as well. I don't want to... Okay, so we're, we're stockpiling quite a decent amount of stuff for crafting here as well when we get to that point. And I think before I head back, I am going to go and harvest that deer carcass that's on the other side of here. That's a bit awkward where I've chosen to put these. Oh, it's a bit annoying that you can't play things closer together. Ending up with stuff expanding much further away than it uh, really should do. But it's uh, nice that you can actually place things at all, because you never used to be able to early in the game. There we go. So we've got lots of curing saplings. We've got some curing hides. We've got lots of curing guts. So we're actually looking pretty cool. Um, where were we? I didn't think we brought anything else back, did we? That's all we brought back. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Condition-wise, 85%. We're all in really good condition. Perfect. Okay, so let's head over to the... In fact, before we do anything, let's grab this and just do a little bit of repair work on our hunting knife. We do actually have another hunting knife, but 
Let's want to put a bit of sharpening on this. Just to improve its condition a little bit. 50%. That'll do for now. And then I'll, uh, I'll work on it again in a minute. Right, okay, let's go and harvest this deer then. I want to get that out of the way. Ooh, very bright. Very bright and sunny. What's the temperature? Two? It's not even freezing. Okay, let's make our way across then. Just keep our eyes open for wolves and uh, things lurking about. I'm hoping those deer are running away from me. So be careful because the bear will be about here. We're getting quite close to the bear. Ooh, bit of firewood. I'll have that. Okay, so what have we got on this deer carcass then? Absolutely no meat whatsoever, but we have a hide and we have gut, and that's what I'm really interested in. Knife is a bit quicker, so let's make use of it. I could have lit a fire there and uh, thawed it out, but I didn't bother. I don't need it for the heat because we're not freezing. Cool, so that's the deer carcass dealt with. Let's just see if there's anything else in here. No, there isn't. Okay, so... There's plenty of deer here, so if we want to do some hunting, we can. To bring down more uh, deer pelts. I could do with having a quick look at the blueprints, actually, and just seeing what's actually what, what we still need to get. To uh, start crafting stuff. And, whilst we're out, let's go to that um, snare that we've uh, got set up over here. And let's go and uh, just see if we've snared anything. Because the last time I snared something, by the time I got back to collect it, it had degraded and gone out of the game. So, well, we do have a bunny. An unharvested rabbit carcass. Harvest it for usable meat. Well, let's pick it up and take it then. It's a long way from the snare, though. <laughs> okay, let's just take and reset the snare. Okay, let's reset the snare. Okay, so we've actually got a rabbit this time. And uh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realise you could pick up rabbit carcasses now. I didn't know you could pick them up. Cool, so we are looking pretty cool. I mean, look at that. When you come in, just look at how much stuff we've got stockpiling in here. Right, so let's again drop everything that we have. So we have another deer hide. We are making ourselves a little carpet here. Place that there. And we have some more gut, which we can place wherever it letters. Just to get it out of the way. Look at that. Okay, so we've got three deer hides and two wolf pelts. So let's just have a quick look in the workbench and just see what we need to make things. Deerskin pants, or deerskin trousers as we call them. Three deer hides for guts. So by the time everything's cured, we're actually going to have the materials to make those. Deerskin boots, two and four guts. So we can make a choice. We can either make those or we can make those. We'll have to kind of make a decision which one we think is going to be better for us straight off the bat. Wolfskin coat, we need four wolf pelts. Bearskin coat, we need two bear hides. That's going to be a pretty cool one when we get there. Rabbit skin mitts, what do we need? We need four rabbit pelts. We've only got the one at the moment. Moose hide cloak. One moose hide. The only problem um, is that uh, we need to find a moose. And we haven't found a moose yet. It's worth pointing out. And we need to we need to make some more snares as well. I think I need to lay some more snares around. Try and catch some more rabbits. Talking of rabbits. Where is that rabbit that we picked up? It's here. Let's harvest our harvest our bunny and we get some stuff from it. Started to thaw out because we brought it inside, but 
awesome. So what have we now got then? We have some rabbit meat. We have some raw venison that we need to cook. We need to cook all of that pretty quickly. We have uh, another piece of gut and a rabbit pelt. So let's drop those and add those to the collection. It's an awfully big gut from such a small animal. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll pop these under the table, I think. There we go. So we are looking in really, really good shape here. We've got deer hides, we've got wolf pelts, we've now started to collect rabbit pelts, we've got tons of gut here for crafting, we've got lots of sewing kits, we've got a spare bedroll, we've got loads of firewood. It's all looking pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, grab some reclaimed woods. Probably not, no, probably not that much actually. And let's just uh, get ourselves a little fire going. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because I don't think... Uh, oh, we've got a book. I need a book. I've only got a couple here. Um, I don't think... Take charcoal. I don't think that the... Um, the meat's going to last overnight. Because it's pretty low condition. So I'm going to cook it now. Before we end up losing it. So let's just get it cooked up. And again, if we end up with a little bit extra fire, we'll make some more water. You can never have, have enough water stockpiled. See, we're doing really, really well here on Mystery Lake. We've got Trapper's Cabin as a great player base, but obviously we did set ourselves a challenge of getting everything back to the Grey Mother's house. And I am still intending to do that. Let's cook up our rabbit. And that venison that we had. I am still planning on doing that. That is still the goal. I am still intending to get everything across to the Grey Mother's house. That's the challenge we've set for ourselves to make things a bit more interesting. So though we've got a great house here that we've got ourselves set up. We are going to start shifting things back to the Grey Mother's house at some point. I may wait until we get to 30 days into the game before I start doing that. That gives ourselves a nice third of the way through the 100 day goal little uh, challenge to do. And so far we've explored very little of the world. We've still got an hour, so let's uh, do some more water. Let's do an hour, um, one and a half litres. I think we should just about have enough time oh, to do I that. I do anything for a drink right now. Well, that's very handy because you are actually doing something for a drink right now. We're getting really tired. It's just about to go dark. We've had a really, really full day in the long dark. We've got lots and lots of stuff done. Okay, so let's eat and drink. And get our uh, calorie level all the way up. So let's eat everything that we're carrying, I think. There's not many calories here. They're small pieces. So we may as well eat all of what we've got. Gives us plenty of calories. And then let's drink. I think before I go back to get any more from the cabin, I might actually try and bring down a deer. One of the deer that are wandering about. Yeah, so we're now in pretty good shape. We just need to sleep. And I think that's where we're going to wrap things up for this video. But we've had a really, really, really good one. We've brought loads of stuff back. We've got lots of hides curing away here. Uh, lots of saplings curing away. Uh, yeah, which ones do we need to make various things? Arrow shafts are made from birch saplings, uh, which we are the ones we have the most of, which is fantastic. So we can make lots and lots of arrow shafts. The only problem is we haven't got any arrow heads uh, because we need the forge. But there is a forge on Forlorn Muskeg, which of course connects to uh, Mystery Lake. So uh, I think I may um, have a think about heading to Forlorn Muskeg fairly soon and see if we can get across to the forge. Um, I'd rather try and craft a bit of the of the wolf skin and the deer skin clothing before we do that, just so we've got some warmer clothing to make that journey with. Forlorn Muskeg is a bit of an unforgiving region, so I want to have plenty of warm clothing. So we'll uh, we'll see where we're at with that. But I'm going to try and bring some more deer down uh, in the next video. I don't bring them all down in one go because we don't want the meat to spoil before we eat it. But uh, when we run out of uh, venison, we will. Uh, bring down another deer which will of course give us some more meat and of course give us another hide let us make some of that clothing so that's the short term goal that's what we're going to aim for next I think we'll head to Forlorn Muskeg see if we can make some arrow heads make ourselves an arrow 
uh, some arrows, and then we have the bow and arrow that we can go and try and hunt with, which uh, is uh, pretty interesting, actually, pretty cool, particularly since we don't have many bullets left. But right now, I am going to say, as always, thank you so much for joining me in The Long Dark. It has been a very, very productive uh, day in the long dark we are 17 days into our challenge it's day 17 so we've officially probably survived 16 days yep 16 full days survived in the long dark uh, so we're actually doing okay we're still early days in this playthrough but we're going to try and make our way to that 100 day goal we're actually doing pretty well we're not far off getting a quarter of the way towards that goal now so we are uh, we're in good shape so uh, thank you for watching stick it in the um comment section below any questions any comments any queries you have any guidance you would like don't forget tutorial series as well um and uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons for the next video in the series which of course goes out on tuesdays and thursdays and we have retro play going out on wednesdays and um, we're going to start introducing gameplay as well so we've got plenty of things planned in the pipeline but right now thank you so much for watching i shall see you again for some more long dark very very soon